Hey there, everybody. Mackenzie Smith is blazing trails at Heritage Hills. She's the first female wrestler in school history, and she is doing more than just making history. She's winning matches. Blake Sandlin has that story. Mackenzie Smith isn't your prototypical wrestler, but she's doing her part to take down the stereotype and the competition. Smith is a freshman at Heritage Hills High School and the first female wrestler in school history. She's an ambassador right now for our female population. Smith is the only female wrestler on her team and among a select few in the state of Indiana. Because of that fact and because the IHSAA doesn't yet recognize high school girls wrestling, Smith oftentimes wrestles against boys. Some people just don't want to wrestle me because they feel like they're just going to going to be too easy of a match, but it isn't. She's wrestling our guys all day long. She's grown up wrestling our guys, and, you know, right now, I think her high school record against guys is like, I think we're at 28 and 6 or 26 and 8, something okay. like that. So, I mean, she's got 30-plus matches against guys throughout the year. Being the lone girl on the roster can be challenging, but Smith said the team has embraced her as their own. It wasn't weird at all because, like, nobody made it weird, and now we're just, like, a big family all in one, and we just mess with each other just like anyone else. Most of them are scared of her. It's, and that's the fun part. Uh, she's one of ours. You know, female, male, doesn't matter. You know, we treat her just the same. The guys, it's, it's their sister. You know what I mean? And just how we're all brothers, it's our sister. Mackenzie Smith isn't just trailblazing at Heritage Hills. She's the number one wrestler in the state and has the chance to win her first individual state championship. And her coaches believe it won't be her last. Full expectation to be a four-year state champ. You know, I mean, and, and if it's not, then we're doing something wrong in the room. I'm confident, but it's, it's more against her, her just mental. I think it's mental. If she loses, it's going to be mental, but I think she's physically there and mentally there, prepared. And state champion or not, Smith hopes her ambition to break the mold inspires other girls to do the same. Just keep going after your dreams and not give up. Even if there's something holding you back, just keep going. It doesn't matter anything. Just think of yourself as people instead of genders of what you're trying to accomplish. Reporting from Heritage Hills, Blake Sandlin, Eyewitness News. They're all afraid of her. That's fantastic. Now, Smith can capture her first individual state championship when the Patriots compete in the state finals on Friday.